in the media sector over the last five years. And this is thanks to His Excellency, the President, uh, Comrade Minangagwa. He is the one who unconditionally decided to reform the media sector. It's safe for me to declare that the media landscape in this country will never be the same again. Uh, let me begin by providing the media context as we approach next month's general elections. Uh, our esteemed ambassadors, this is, and our observers of course, this is the first elections to be held under a reconfigured and improved media environment since independence 43 years ago. In previous elections, both local and, inter and international observers have, have been complaining about uh, a shrinking media landscape. The narrative, or rather that narrative, which had become a weapon to criticize us since the First Republic will no longer be necessary this time around. Why do I say that? This, I'm saying that because this election comes after the repeal of this draconian law, IPA, Access to Information and Protection of Private Act, and also POSA, the repeal of POSA. We now have the Freedom of Information Act, which is more than friendly to the media. In addition, we have seen opened up the airwaves. We go into these elections with additional six new national commercial television stations, which are currently broadcasting and are ready to deploy crews to provide maximum uh, coverage during these elections. In addition to that, we also have another television channel from East Africa, Azam TV, which is also registered to operate from this country. This has brought in diversity in the media sector and a wider choice in terms of news consumption. In addition to television, this election will be covered by 32 local uh, radio stations including the 14 community radio stations that are dotted around what is used to be called marginalized uh, areas. The 14 stations, they're broadcasting in indigenous languages, making them effective in terms of mass communication. Uh, the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission is also utilizing these stations in disseminating voter education information. Let me just give you a background that Radio was introduced in this country in 1933 and were the first in sub-Saharan Af Africa. We were just behind Nigeria and Egypt. We were ahead of all others, including South Africa in 1933. 